Big Y Supermarket in Longmeadow was a busy place this morning as hundreds of people cleared the shelves for those in need. 22 News reporter Kate Walsh was embedded with one team participating in this year's Rachel's Table Food Raiser. Canned foods, boxed foods, and fresh foods all filled shopping carts and spilled onto checkout belts to be donated to people in need. Volunteer organization Rachel's Table challenged more than 40 teams of teenagers to buy as much food as they could with about $75. We've had a lot of sign-ups the day of and people who just come and maybe pick up an extra item while they're doing their own grocery shopping. Some teams focused on quantity, others on quality. We looked for a lot of canned things and a lot of things with like buy one, get one free or like 10 for $10 or something like that. So we can get a lot of deals and then we got some cereal, some baby food. Laura Dow gave one team coupons so they could buy more for less. Whatever they're looking for on their list, if I can find a match, then they'll get the coupons and save some more. Most people donate canned or boxed goods to food pantries because they last longer, but part of the challenge was to also incorporate fresh produce into the order. So that included fresh fruits and vegetables and lots of meats, and the teams found pretty good deals on meats like chicken. The bags were loaded directly onto two food pantries trucks just outside the store. As the teams of teenagers shopped, they learned just how much a dollar could buy. We kept the math in one of our phones um, to try and add up all of the um, stuff that we bought. And there was an added incentive. The teams that get the most uh, food for the least amount of money win like gift cards and stuff. But really, everyone's a winner because all the uh, food is getting donated to the hungry. In Longmeadow, Kate Walsh, 22 News.